Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to talk about inter-service authentication and authorization using Azure AD. Uh, so in our example we will have uh, a public API, we'll call it a backend, and then another uh, client application, we call it front end. Uh, from um, from here a user will be able to log in and then get a token from Azure AD and then use that token to call the public API and get a response back. We will also have one or more internal applications that will also uh, get a token from Azure AD and call the public API using that token uh, but in this case the token will be uh, uh, specific to this application it will not be tied to a specific user whereas in this case a user will be able to log in and then the token that uh, this application gets from Azure AD will be specific to the user and then using that token will be able to call the API in both cases uh, Azure AD allows you to do this uh, using simple configuration uh, so I have a sample application here uh, similar to the graph here uh, we will have the front end this one and then the web API is this one and then I just have one service app which is one so you can have one or more it doesn't uh, matter for demo purposes I'll just have one uh, so the first thing you need to do the working with Azure AD is in your Azure you have to register all your applications so here if I go to app registration in Azure, so first go to home Azure Active Directory and then app registrations uh, you will have my API front-end and service app uh, I just created this a while ago for testing I can go ahead and delete this Uh, so if we look at the API uh, and then go authentication you'll see uh, I created this with a redirect URL since I'm running locally and then the next thing I need to do is go here in expose API you need to create a scope uh, a scope is another way of authorization uh, you need to have at least one scope uh, for your API to be exposed publicly uh, you can have one or more uh, and then uh, you can use the scopes to do authorization uh, you can also use roles for authorization so but they both work differently uh, I'm gonna demonstrate the app roles today and the scopes is uh, maybe for another video but uh, you need to create at least one uh, uh, for our case let me go back uh, so we have front end uh, nothing special here we just have a client secret you generate a secret copy this um, to your uh, configuration so if you go to the app settings uh, you need to have your tenant ID you grab it from here in the overview uh, you grab the over the tenant ID should be this one and then the client ID is here and then the secret you go here and then grab the secret from here uh, the same thing for the service app uh, you have to generate the secret uh, you copy the app ID tenant ID uh, and that's it um, uh let's see so let's see how it's gonna work so let me start this three applications all at the same time so here uh, we have the web api uh, we have two endpoints the way get weather forecast and put update uh, basically disables the first endpoint um, let's try it uh, so right now it, it gives me uh, unauthenticated uh, so let's uh, go back to the API and disable authentications just for testing purposes we start so now I should be able to call it so I get a list of uh, forecast for the next five days 
and then if I call this one and I say disable to true it will disable the first endpoint so here if I go execute I get 503 uh, which means temporary unavailable uh, so I can enable it back set disable false so now this endpoint is working back so let's re-enable the authentication so now I'll put this back on restart so we should be using the front end now uh, to log in as a user and then call this API using the user identity in the token. So here we have the front end app. So this is the front end app. I was already logged in. Uh, so let me log out. All right. So here I have two links. One is to get the token uh, from Azure AD, and the second one is to call uh, my API, the get forecast, the get endpoint, the first endpoint, uh, using the token. So let's first sign in. Uh, I have this user my password here. So I'm logged in. So here I can get the token. So this is the token that Azure AD gives me back. So I can use it to call the API. Uh, so you can decode this if you go to this website and paste the token here. You can see the values in the token. So you can see I have my IP, my name, uh, my email. So you see that uh, these are the claims. Uh, here if you go there it, it gives you even an explanation of each of the claims so let's see if we can use this token to call the api so this will call the api we got the status okay and then that's the same response we got from swagger so we got the response back from the api so that works so now let's look at uh, authentication using the app so here uh, we want to test this part where from our service app uh, we call our public API so let's get a token here and then if you look at this token go to this side to decode it you'll see it's different from the first token we saw we don't know we no longer see uh, the username the email there's no email here because there's no user so this token is specific to this app uh, and then I believe this one is the client ID uh, so we can match this if you grab this one and go to your uh, overview service app uh, client ID is DC144 uh, no that's not the one where is that DC144 so the app ID is this one uh, so this matches the client ID for the app itself. Uh, so we got the token. Let's see if we can call the API. So first let's call enable. We got response OK. So we were able to call the API even though if it's authenticated as well. See, it's this one. It's uh, protected by authorize. And we were able to call it using the token for the app. Uh, so now let's see if we can call it oh so this happens when the token expires I don't have a refresh uh, setup so let's sign out and sign in again let's sign in again Okay. Okay, we're still able to call, uh, but let's disable that. Disable the API. So now, if you go back and call, we get service unavailable because we disabled it from this service app. So now we can re-enable it. We got response of okay, and then if I go and call it back, uh, we get uh, uh, forecast back again. So that means that we were able to call the API there's both endpoints are protected i cannot call it if i'm not authenticated i get 401 
if I try to do a put here without a token I get 401 uh, but we were able to call them using the service app because it's using its own token its, its own identity and then here a user can also call it using a, a token uh, so two different tokens but they're still able to access the same API one is a user token and one is an app token so now we covered this area for authentication now let's look at authorization let's look at protecting API endpoints using some roles um, so <clears throat> here we just have authorize we have two endpoints uh, so how we can uh, implement roles on each one so the first thing you need to do is create some roles so in our case we'll create two one is whether to read the weather one is to update the weather or whatever this does disable enable uh, so let's go to Azure and let's go to the registration for our API uh, we looked at uh, expose an API here so we have the scope we're not talking about scope today we're talking about roles so app roles uh, so here we will create a new role here you can create as many as you want so let's try weather dot read and here you can specify uh, so roles can be specific to users so you can assign them to user or groups or can be assigned them to applications or you can assign them to both so let's do let's do both um, so weather read that's our first role uh, let's do another one weather dot update and this is both as well so we can assign this role to both users or applications so now we have two uh, roles uh, let's protect our APIs is it say yeah, I saved so let's go back to our API let's protect uh, our endpoints to look for these roles so I'm gonna add this here and then I'm gonna add this here so this endpoint will look for weather read in the roles if you're not able if you don't have this role you will get a, a forbidden uh, error which is 403 and in this case we, from this endpoint we're looking for weather.update so this is redundant now I can remove it from there okay so now let's restart this let's go back so now if I go to my service app uh, I call uh -huh, we get forbidden that means that we do not have the necessary roles uh, to call this API if I look at the token paste it back here there is no the roles it only has the default role it doesn't have the update or read roles so how can we assign those roles to this application so that's simple let's go back to our registration for the service app and here if you go to API permissions you can click on add permission and then go to my APIs and this is the API our API registration and then since this is an application so we want to do application permissions so here you see the available ones that we created so here I want to assign the update to the, for this application so this app will be able to update or call the update endpoint on our API so let's add the permission and then we have to do grant admin consent for it to work so now our application has the weather update role uh, let's assign the same or not the same role let's assign the read role to our user so to do that we go to users uh, so here this is the user I was logging in with so if I go here and I go to applications uh, there is nothing here I want to assign role how can I assign role 
I believe it's um, application assignments. Is it assigned rules? Add assignment, not this one. Uh, Azure role assignment. No. Where is it? Oh, you know what? To assign roles to users, it's a pay. You need to have a. You need to have a premium subscription of Azure AD. This one has the free work, so we won't be able to test the roles on users. I believe I'll double check, but at least we can assign it to our apps. So let's let's re get the token. So now this token for this app should have the new role. So see, we have the weather update role. So now we should be able to call. See, we no longer get forbidden. We get OK. OK, we can call the endpoint. But as for the user, uh, you can also do the same. So here, if you go here, applications, and then you here there should be a button to add the roles. Uh, API. No. Let's see. User sign roles. Add assignment. API or weather. To sign. See, you see this one? Just to assign custom roles to a user, your organization needs to Azure AD Premium P1. Okay, so we cannot assign it to our user. But if you upgrade to Premium, you can assign it to a user. But at least we were able to see how it works uh, using uh, applications. Uh, so, yeah, so that's how you do authentication and authorization with Azure AD. Uh, using both user context and application context.